Welcome back to another My Am Toys. <laughs> what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Huh. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new edition of My Damn Hauls. I don't even know what episode we're on, but today's going to be a damn good day. Dude, my mouth. I know. Okay, that's a weird thing to just cut to. I'm sorry. All right. If you didn't know, I got busted in the mouth the other day playing basketball. Still wasn't going and playing, though, because nothing stops the grind. <laughs> nothing stopping the grind, baby. Ball is life. But I got hit in the mouth with an elbow going for a Euro on a layup, and my teeth went into my lip, and now I have the biggest effing ulcer you'd ever seen in your life. It takes up, like, half of my mouth, and it hurts like a bitch most of the time. It's slowly healing, and, you know, I've done the tricks and the Tylenols and the different things, and I'm just still in so much pain. And I deal with, I've dealt with ulcers my whole life. I get them from time to time, but good Christ, this one takes the cake. Nonetheless, today we're back with brand new edition of My Damn Halls, and we got some great epic stuff in here from Dan Turnquist that you guys are going to be mind-blown by. I can finally wrap up some customs with some of the pieces. I've worked on some new customs. I got the freaking Shop AEW Jade in here. I mean, we're, we're looking good right now, damn it. Nonetheless, let's dive into our first projects. Let's just start things off with the championships, man, because that's what we're here for. This is what we're here for. We have the newly designed WWE World Heavyweight Championship and the new Undisputed Championship here. Here, man and these look freaking good and if you guys were wondering where you could get them you can get them from turn quest custom fig belts and I'll put links, there it is, Dan underscore Turnquist right there on Instagram. I am going to link his Instagram and Twitter in the description below. Definitely tell him that I sent you by there. These look incredible, man. I can't wait to put this on my Ultimate Seth and my Roman Reigns. And I guess my video the other day was for absolutely nothing. Because now I can replace it immediately with this freaking bombastic, fantastic looking championship. And so we're going to remove these out of the baggie. And we're going to look at them. And I got other customs and ish to show off, but... We're also going to crack that jade out of the packaging and take a look at it as well. And we got some good stuff going on, man. So let's shut the hell up. Let's crack the titles out first, and then we'll move on to everything else that we have today. But here's the World Championship, man. I mean, when this thing was first shown off, I was not really a fan. It looks better in figure form, and I think the championship really grew on me. I actually like it now. I, I like it a lot more than I did initially. I just thought it was so weird looking. I mean, it's still kind of weird looking, just that big ass WWE logo and like the classic main play, but I still like it. I think it looks good and Dan did a fantastic job on it. It looks so good and it's very quality. I just snap it in half on accident. It's like, oh yeah, it's really quality. Just tear it in half. Yeah, it's really quality. I just burn it. Yeah, it's really quality. I just throw it in the trash. But this, this championship looks damn good and we're going to put that on Seth Rollins in just a moment. But first, we got to look at the Undisputed Championship again. And this one looks damn good as well, man. Looks way better than my custom, by God. And even though, you know, I, I like to do the tutorial so you guys can get your, you know, you can make it from what you already have. But, uh, yeah, this one's just way better. This one just looks so much cleaner. Yeah. Mine's not bad, though. I, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit there, okay? Mine's not bad. But, yeah, his is definitely better. And I can, I can, I can, I can, I can admit that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take Roman Reigns Championship. I, I might actually sell this. Let me know if you guys are interested. I might, I might sell this right here. Or you can just go to Dan, you know? but I may still sell this. Maybe you want it. Put that on the table, and then give this one to the head of the table. You see what I did there? So here is the championship. Now, this championship, like, aesthetically, the championship doesn't look bad. Like, this design is hard to mess up. It's just people are sick of the carbon copy ass championships, man. Nobody wants the same title again and again and again and again and again. You know, we, we didn't like the first Universal Championship, man. They redid the design. People were like, what the hell is that? It's just a WWE title but red. And then they reveal the blue Universal title title and we're like it's just the same belt but blue and then they reveal this one's like it's just the wwe title again belt looks great and fine and terrific and roman reigns looks badass with it and dan destroyed this it looks fantastic however give me something new damn give me something new brad come on nonetheless this looks fantastic throw it in the trash again nonetheless these these are great i'm i'm very excited for that and uh why did i put it on the table brad you give it to roman reigns here and he looks damn good that looks freaking greatness. I don't know why the exposure is so low, but we'll get over it. So I'm going to put the things off screen until the end there. But I am going to grab my Ultimate Edition Seth freaking Rollins right here, which is so beautiful. And I'm going to retire this big gold right here. And we're going to give this man the appropriate championship. And we're going to wrap it around his waist right here without getting weird. And we're going to strap this on. And then boom. Now look at him. Look at that right there, man. He's looking damn good. I need to tighten it a little more. That's my fault. It's not Dan's. Or maybe Dan's. Get better. It's just jokes, bro. I like it. Look at that. That's damn good. That's damn good. 
How about that? Nonetheless, that, that looks so good, man. Huge shout out to Dan, man. Definitely go check him out on Instagram and Twitter and uh, send him a message. Get some orders in here. Order the belts. And now my collect... Like, now I don't have to... W like, this is the thing, man. When the when Mattel releases it, it's going to be like a year and a half from now. Or it's, at least, it's at least a year away, right? Don't wait a year. Go pay the quality price. Get this in your collection if it matters to you. If it doesn't matter to you, who cares? Go get your updated championships from Dan. He makes the best custom belts you'll see out there. Now, let's get into some other projects that we got working on. That's not all Dan sent us, okay? Dan sent us a belt to go on my Seth Rollins right here. Now, I don't remember if I discussed this. Uh, I've, I've discussed it, but I didn't talk about the belt, maybe. Or maybe I did. Maybe I did in like a month ago or like a few weeks back. I talked about the custom belt right here that Dan made. So, the first time he sent it, I had an idea to make it. So, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back in time. Just reverb here. We had the Greatest Hits Rollins. Well, I hated that they didn't update it whatsoever. So, I updated, with, I updated the Greatest Hits Cash-In Rollins with my modern technology and modern Seth Rollins formula in what Mattel should do. And I made this Rollins here using an Elite 93. I acetoned all the design. I got him a custom belt right here that's going to be way more accurate and nice. This is from Dan here. And he 3D printed the SR, and I haven't, like, put it in place just yet. I'm gonna, like, glue it down right here and make it accurate to the belt. But look at this right here, dude. The first time he did it, it was a little too small, so I, I asked him if he could redo it, and he did it perfectly. This looks perfect. This is exactly what I had in mind, so now I'm gonna fix this. It even has the little dots here for the belt. I put the gold knee pads on there. All I have to do now is glue this belt down, paint the stripes on there, and now we have, like, these custom gauntlets, double jointed arms, chest hair, head sculpt. Like, this is gonna be a beautiful cash in Seth Rollins figure and I am so excited for this to be finished with it so I'm gonna try and finish this in the next couple weeks hopefully I'll get that done but I will update you guys maybe on surgery or something like that but uh I gotta get this glued down in place where I want it and all these different things but I wanted to definitely plug this in the video because this is trash and this is gonna be so much better man it's gonna look epic so can't wait to finish the cash in Rollins but there we go Dan knocked it out of the park huge shout out to Dan for making those things possible as we slide this off screen so we can get into the rest of our stuff so the rest of the stuff we have in this video man this oh my, oh my god this figure here is a Danhausen elite that I made just the other day like off a whim I was like looking at formulas like like BEW hand painted this head sculpt I think it got this head sculpt from Hederation or somebody and so I hit up BEW I said can you custom paint this he said sure he nailed it that was like months ago and so I've had this Danhausen head sculpt and I know we have like so many Danhausen figures coming soon and I was like, dude, I never completed the Elite I wanted to make. So I ordered a Nash Carter Elite 94 figure, as you guys can see. Acetoned all the tattoos off and then put my own Danhausen decals on there that look damn good. That look damn good. There it is again. And it doesn't have all of his tattoos on there, but it has most of them for the most part. But I felt like the Nash Carter was a perfect formula. I like the white wrist tape tying in the white gear. Could easily, like, repaint this green and red. I removed the MSK logos here. I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do for the attire, but I took the Danhausen and then I... I threw this custom cape on there that Nick Storm, my boy Nick Storm made, or his girlfriend made it or something, and they threw it in as a gift for Christmas one year, and it looks so damn good and nice. It's got a bendy wire in it, it's got Danhausen's logo, it's a custom cape, so I threw that on here, and the head sculpt is not set in stone, like I need to put like some sticky tacker in there so it'll stay on, but look how freaking sick this looks. I thought it looked fantastic, and yeah, the cape doesn't sit down, but I gotta get the sticky tack on there and it will. I love this Danhausen, it looks fantastic. I, I thought it worked for a great Danhausen. Danhausen, especially until we get the AEW ones, like four different Danhausens coming soon. We're definitely going to get all those Danhausens, but I thought that uh, that figure looked damn good, so I was excited to show you guys. And then the rest of the figures that we picked up this week for this My Damn Halls episode, we did grab the No Way Home 3 pack. Now, I did post a review of this yesterday late. It was last night, really late, so definitely go check it out. First ever Marvel Legends review on the channel. We did this three pack. It's a legendary three pack. It's it's. I wanted the first Marvel Legends review to be something that I hold near and dear to my heart. And Spider Man, the original Spider Man, like 2002 Spider Man, and the rest of them hold a special place in my heart as well. But the O2 Tobey Maguire, Sam Raimi Spider Man, that uh, me and my brother and family have ongoing like inside family jokes and like tie-ins and references that we make on a daily basis that really tie into those films. So I wanted that Marvel Legends 
review to be epic. So definitely go check it out, man. Even if you just go watch the video and leave a like on it. Just go leave a like or a comment on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Just to see if it'll reach maybe, you know, some people that would enjoy those reviews or something like that, man. I would greatly appreciate it. I may touch up these figures in the future just to make them some more screen accurate, but that was really fun and it was it was cool to do something outside the box a little bit there. So if you guys don't mind, just leaving a like on the video would do wonders for the video and I would greatly appreciate that. So thank you guys, but I'm waiting on damn Green Goblin, man. We get a Green Goblin Deluxe with the, the, the classic suit with the helmet and a glider and everything. I hope we get one. I want one that was No Way Home, too, but I want the OG look as well. I'm going to lose my ever-loving mind. Willem Dafoe, Chef's Kiss, one of my favorites of all time, and just the Green Goblin character. Like, I may get a big-ass tattoo of the Green Goblin one day. That's, like, how much I enjoy the character. So, we'll see about that, but that was those figures. I wanted to touch on that. And then, I also found in my toy hunt, if you guys missed it, I did don't have the Elite 94 Chase Bret Hart. I should have brought it over here as well, but we also had the Supreme Kenny from our uh, trip to Walmart that we did with my toy hunt with my son. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out. We were out of town and we found like eight Kenny Omega Supreme Edition, so I bought another one and I had another idea. What if I made some Young Bucks in these jeans as like a like promo or backstage Young Bucks? I don't know. That just, something stands out to me there because we could like take the shoes and make them into some custom J's and like, I don't know. That just sounded like a sick idea. You guys can let me know, but getting another Supreme Kenny Kenny was a huge deal, and I have like four or five of these now, so that makes me happy. Future customs, things like that, that's epic. And last but not least, we do have the Jade Cargill. Now, this is, I'm up to date, I have every single Shop AEW 1 of 3000 exclusive, men on cart and loose, and I snagged this Jade, I don't know if you guys got this, I don't think it's still up, let me go check and see if this is still up right now on Shop AEW. It would shock me, I feel like this one's pretty like gnarly compared to the rest of the Shop AEW exclusives, like, it's probably not the best one, but it's up there, man. Like, the packaging, and then you have, like, this sick-ass gear. You get the TBS title. It's way too damn big. Like, it is massive, son. Jeez, takes up our whole torso. My God, it's 1 a.m., and I, I get up at... 5 a.m. Actually, I get up earlier than that sometimes, depending on. But on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get up super early to go play basketball in the morning. It's still on Shop AEW. It's still on there. You can literally go buy this. So go buy this figure, man. I like. I know 50 bucks is kind of uh, it's kind of crazy to be honest with you for a repaint, and it may even drop in price. But I have all of them, so I wanted to go ahead and keep that trend going. But it looks beautiful. I already have the men on card version in a defender, all that stuff. So I'm gonna open this bitch up, save the packaging, and then uh, we can take a closer look. Look at this jade. All right, guys, so here's the figure. Pretty pretty good figure, man. I mean, I feel like they've done a really good job. They got her, like, debut golden black. They got her pink gear, which is the second best gear, or probably the best gear. And then you have this teal, silver, and white, which is very fresh. The green hair, very toyetic. It looks really good, man. I like the boots and the knee pads. I mean, this is a bad A figure. And then you throw in, or should I say bad bitch? This is a bad bitch. But look at this title. Swallows up her whole abdomen. Just a, just a, just, look at that. Just eats her whole face off. Look at that. That's crazy. But I think that is a pretty... I, I like this. I like this as an AEW shop exclusive. I think it gets the job done. You know, there are always repaints. And I I think this is good. Okay, the, the belt doesn't even fit, bro. What the fuck is that? Look at that. You put it on, it just falls off. I mean, what's the point? It's massive. doesn't fit. It's like, it, 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 don't, don't even try, basically. You tried hard and you failed miserably. The lesson is... Never try. That's obviously just jokes, so let's calm our titties down. And if it seems like I've just been in a really good mood today, it's just because I chose to, you know? Not every day is just the best day ever, but I gotta get up in a few hours and go play some basketball, because I enjoy the hell out of that. And I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So I'm just gonna stack this shish up there. Huge shout out to Dan for the titles, man. Good lord, what a beautiful set of championships we got today. Just get the get this and put this here, and then we'll take this. Got a lot of new belts today. Like, what the hell is that? Anyways, what the hell was that? Jade's interchangeable hand. Anyways, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up today's My Name Holes episode. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these things down in the comments section below. But huge shout out to Dan again for the belts. Really enjoyable things there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd love to know your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comments section below. But I am getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the description below. would greatly appreciate that. Also, go follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Would greatly appreciate that. Go leave a like on the Spider-Man 3-pack. That would be amazing as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. Be favored. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.